Yep. I forgot he switched off to PS2 to play against Top Ramen. So, as expected, me Brawler against Krom. Um, I think this could be pretty interesting. I think, I feel like Krom would probably want to use his disc in a lot this matchup, just to try and, you know, keep, uh, keep me Brawler at, like, a distance away from him. But, um, Retrobot's off to a pretty strong start here. Already got 80% tacked onto Amrit. But Amrit has definitely not taken that down too easy. Oh, okay. man, I guess this, I'm this, back. Really this looks pretty even so far. Yeah, you know, it's been pretty back and forth. But Amrit gets some hits, and then Retrobot gets some hits. And oh, I guess and down through oh, Retrobot gets the proper cut. Let's see if Retrobot's gonna be able to do what he did into Dodo, which is just get the lead and keep it. Just run. Run away with it. I feel like Retrobot should uh... always be able to do that this time, and Amrit just gets a nice back in. It was for the Fury. Just punish wow. for it as you should. <laughs> no need to do that. Being if the counter works on Chrono Up, I think it's worth switching. But I've seen Retro use the counter before. Yeah. I mean, Maybe. it'd be interesting. But also, the, yeah. which shot down B is really using? The flip kick. I think he's kind of using the flip yeah. kick. I think kick. the flip kick, even though it is nice to have into the counter, you also have that option of the shot put into, the, into it, which is also pretty great. Oh wow, that was a good recovery by Amrit. I, I yeah, the flip kick is yeah. really going to help survivability because Grom's a character that if you have a linear recovery, he can just blow you up for it. But as soon as you have some sort of mix up like a flip kick, he's not going to be able to cover that super consistently. You can see Retrobot used that over at the ledge a bit earlier. Goes for I, mean, a counter. I just think like the, the threat of the counter could have could have given him a lot. But I mean he's doing fine. Yeah. Yeah. I think both well, well enough, that's how you want to approach the matchup. And I think Flip is just a safer option. So starting out the set with it definitely makes sense to me. Oh, and another nice back air. And the yeah, gear. Omri, like, once again, Retrobot takes the puck first and the Omri just responds very quickly. Yeah, I feel like that's something. I think the thing about this that I'm not too sure about is how much experience does. Uh... Might really have against me brawler because um with Grom, but... probably very good chances his first time playing the Grom the Grom matchup yeah that's what i was thinking i feel like maybe retrobot probably has the edge and like, what he wants to do in this oh wow that's okay uh, but um i feel like armor's doing still doing pretty well for himself yeah, Obviously, sure. good, this uh, set's looking very even right now, but Gashrobot calls out the jab with a parry. Oh, wow! But I'm going to respond to the back arrow landing, and now both of these players are just going to be looking Ooh, to get the kill. This is the last hit. for sure be killed with these percents. And just the extra damage they're actually going to tell us a lot, but calls out no, the flip kick up there, and closes out game one. Yeah, he really called out that uh, flip kick from uh, Retrobot. I don't think he was really expecting it. Yeah, especially um, because he wasn't using it that much in those positions. So, yeah. Kind of just getting that call out that easily really shows how well he is adapting or just covering the options preemptively and just keep beating oh. his head. Seems like Vance has defeated Top Rock three to two, so we're gonna be seeing Rose against Vance after this set. Interesting. Playing right now. Uh, I think they should be waiting for that. I'm not sure. But... No, it's actually finished. No, Vance. Vance just uh, at the okay. I think yeah. Uh, they might just be doing it off stream. Okay. I think they've got. Yeah, they get off stream. Okay. But now, uh, this time, Retrobot's starting off a bit stronger, and uh, Armored's gonna have to fight his way back into this. And let's see if Retrobot, you know, starts just punishing Armored's preemptive options a bit more this game. <laughs> Retrobot's for sure shown that he's capable of adapting to how people want to just pressure in neutral and finding a solution to that. 
Yeah, yeah. obviously that's what I said. That game is kind of as much thing like that's happening already. Uh, Interesting dash catch right there. Oh, and he gets hit by the up, man. I don't know if I'm on that one. I think that was a punish on the jab. But I'm not fully sure because Jeb does not have a lot of lag, so maybe he would have done it. But if he could have gone like a tech chase or something. Maybe uh, Armit wasn't really expecting that. See one. how much extra yeah. credit can we pick up? 53%. Gets the damage. Building oh, up no. a lot of damage here. Gets the edge guard. Is he gonna be able to make it back? Yes, he Ooh, is. Gosh, two pairs. He immediately gets the make back off stage. Looking for the shot, but Retrobot is. Retrobot's still trying to flex. Those just because. The flex, it's not getting any punish off of it. I remember seeing Retrobot post a clip off like of that before, and I'm pretty sure he's like practiced that a bunch. Yeah, that seems like something to you. It's uh, Ugh. I think he said he's like gotten it down. So I remember yeah, he, did it to, he did it to me in a uh, doubles bracket. Yeah, he did it, he did it to me in a doubles bracket, and I gave up. <laughs> oh, wait, um, no, that's not gonna be close to the center stage, but gets the flip kick call out once again. Amrit seems to be on top of him for it. Yeah. He needs to get some weird Krama beaches off stage to even this out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. wait, why'd he go for that upbeat? A little preemptive. Uh, I think too much of a push for it, man. Just calls out the landing with the last This is a pretty strong retrobot right now. Yeah, the retrobot seems to be in a position that he enjoys. Amrit's coming yeah, to him, and he seems to know how he wants to come to him, and he's just comfortable pressing a button that he can have. As someone who's played Roy against Retrobot a lot recently, with decent success, I mean games taken, um, you really don't want to, you don't want to approach him. It's just not worth it. Yeah, he's yeah. very good at people approaching him. You just, you just want to space your sword, because otherwise he's gonna, he's gonna spam his nair, he's gonna do the armored side, and you're just gonna feel like an idiot. <laughs> Yeah, I've been there before. You seem to be making some adaptions. Swinging his sword in a bit smarter spots. Playing a bit more grounded. But, uh... Oh, he's got him off stage. Not looking like wow, what was that? Yeah. Um, he never extends the edge guard, but does make the reversal back on the left trap. Uh, shield I feel like Amrit is like, but he's sometimes like... I want to see Amrit not hit the front of Retrobot's shield here, because Retrobot fishes a lot for, like, run-up shield. Smashes in this situation. Yeah. yeah. Another option as long as we're avoiding it. Should probably be looking into using a bit more. Oh my god, it's like a lot of plant. Because, yeah, exactly like that. Down tilt's yeah. not really punchable, and it's going to be calling out retro box dash ins. See right there, he did a cross up one, and that was amazing. And it will also be setting up tech chases, so I think a lot of cases, if you want to call out a rather than push down tilt, it's just a better choice to play. Oh wow, good up B. He's starting to close this gap a little bit. Not letting the get this kill and is bringing on the percent, and it's definitely possible for Grump to get a kill oh, here. Shit. Almost like that. 100%, another one of those for sure will kill. But I don't know, that almost killed that. That's a lot. Retrobot's struggling to close it out. 171%, and he full oh, kill that. Wow, that, was, that bagger was pretty nice. Retrobot. Really knew what to do against um, get at ledge when it mattered. Yeah, he's getting a lot of ledge traps just, with the back air. It's also good on Retrobot to not really panic too, too much in that situation because he's like, you know, Amr still has that high amount of percent on him, and it's still a last yeah. hit situation. Really, so. you need to be you at low percent, your opponent at 150 plus percent, and just kind of mentally tap out. Just think, yeah, yeah. I can just and as soon as you kind of. Get to get to death, then you'll know, kind of put a panic and think that you're gonna choke and get in your own head. Yeah. So, it's gonna happen taking the game ahead. It's mental. They're staying in small battlefield at the end. interesting. I'm gonna do really like this stage and I'm pretty sure they're gonna have that as well. Yeah. So I would not be surprised if it's a small battlefield the whole stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'd be curious if any of them would consider a stage switch. If they I did, we would be able to retrobot the switch because Amir definitely plays in the stage a lot. Yeah. So maybe just picking a stage that isn't his comfort stage would be enough to kind of. I know when I play 
against Amrit, generally in his arenas, he has like a stage chosen already. Yeah, he, so. he has Palm Health chosen for that. Yeah. I think he did He has two. Oh, wow. Good jab and forward air. Really catching him out on that flip kick recovery. Did Amrit win a game? Uh, Amrit has won a game, yeah. Won one game. He won the first one. He did? Yeah, he did. Uh, but, uh, Retrobot even did. Nice oh, oh, wow. I wish this time. Amrit went too high. high. Well, now Amrit has a 52% lead here. Worth it. Um, obviously he's gonna try and capitalize off of it, try and close out this stock as soon as he can. Oop, but oh, Gresh Gresh the cap. Just a little yeah. Oh, yeah. Next trap into a juggle sends them back off stage. But I'm gonna do a reverse move to back here. They're even now. Looking yeah. pretty even here. Oh wow! The Ash I guess Vestrobot's recognized that Armored's definitely been fishing for those S-Mashes and it is time to tell him to stop. And what better way to stop Armored from S-Mashing by replying with your own even stronger S-Mash. <laughs> uh, here now... Very... Oh, and a comment! But he does get the S-Mash on the back here wall. And using the fact that he's got a good shot and the other back here isn't. So just spacing and that's not definitely not gonna make it. Very Never very really back and forth. And Pretty well yeah, the first time we've seen Retrobot uh go from having a solid leap there, kind of switching back up to him. Yeah. Yeah, I think Krav definitely wasn't there to really do that though. Yeah, Amir doesn't play really awesome. getting an understanding wow. of Run away from him. Oh, no. if he's getting you for it. would have killed if he had landed it. Just missed the counter. I don't know if it was just a missed spacing or a missed time error, but uh, I guess the back here. Was, um, yeah, let's put that in for a while. Even though Armit was still trying to come back, even to that, it kind of, kind of went pretty similar to the second game. He got close, but even if you're close, it's still not enough. No. So I guess they're going back again. It's game four now. So it seems like Retrobot has definitely made the adjustments here. And um, even if Amrit has been able to try and bring it back and make it close, he hasn't really been able to close it out. Yeah. And I think... It definitely looks like after that first game, Retrobot is... Seem a little more comfortable, but as we've seen before, <clears throat> Omni is definitely capable of adapting right back. Yeah. So let's see if going into this game four, Omni will be able to mm -hmm. uh, adapt back to what Retrobot is doing. And currently, it's looking pretty even. So. Yeah, I mean, Omni started off with a really strong uh, combo, but then uh, Retrobot just really was able to come back and you know give a good response. Uh, Jab punish. And... Ooh, and gets the Jair. Right. So now it's really up to Armor here to really try and work the stock and try and get as much extra credit as he can as you get your yeah. getting into him and looking to get the kill. And he needs to make right out the stock. It looks like Retrobot's getting in pretty easily, getting him up to the kill percent. But now Amir has a nice struggle going on here, but drops it and lets Retrobot get the river, so it's like not too hard to find it. Yeah, and I think that's probably what you want in that situation, even if he builds up the damage, as long as you're still alive, you keep him going with it. Even on Wi Fi, you can still chill the first hit of a multi hit and get the carry on. Oh, wow, that was a interesting. Uh... I'd be attempt from Retrobot there. Oh, yeah, catches the flip kick. Even though she, the stock... Ooh. Uh, well, not anymore. Armit's up now. Armit seems to be knowing how to play with this lead here. And just walling out Retrobot and not letting him really play the game. Yeah. Definitely I think if Armit can really play the game really well, I think he could definitely bring it to a game 5 at this point. Um, which is pretty exciting to see, because it feels like these two have just been really going really back and forth. Oh, wow! 
Just goes for it. Two stout. This would be probably a pretty bad spot for Retrobot to be in. After winning the past two games and then getting answered back with a two stock and now being at match ball point right afterwards. Yeah. And the winner of this goes into the winner side of the uh, grand finals. And the loser of this has to play the winner of fans versus roast beef. It should be next on stream. So obviously they're still sticking to the small battlefield. Um, nothing is just changed. Kind of similar to the set between Honored and uh, Flightless a few weeks back where it was Ken versus uh, Bika. I think it's happened all five games. The first, the beginning of the game. I think, I think Retrobot's a lot more side view of this game. They're really like, using it to try and catch uh, Armored out. It gets the S man. Very strong. That's for the parries, but it doesn't get at all. Um, very even now. Oh wow, that was very close. Yeah. Oh, and he he's comrades overzealous with those counters. Yeah, I think so too. He, he goes for them quite a bit. Too. Especially like the jump back counter is kind of like a gimmick. Oh, nice catch. Oh, wow, nice near the house smash. It gets another S match response from uh, Retrobot to start off his stock. Yeah, I feel like Retrobot's using the side piece a lot more this game. I feel like it's I've seen it come out like three times, and I never saw it once like before this entire set. Maybe, maybe uh, Retrobot has decided he needs to try and go for more like trying to catch uh, Krom's landings and punish him and try to get the stage positioning with what this command grab offers. Oop, I don't know what that angle was. Oh, I guess like, he just died for it. Made on the stage with the this Now Retrobot's got a lot of games in Yeah, that, that was a pretty costly error for him. Uh, I felt like he was doing a bit better. Yeah, see, he's doing all this, a lot more side beat now. But, um, even then, I think Armored's still holding on to the team pretty well. Definitely racking up the damage and doing what he can to really punish uh, Retrobot for that recovery mistake. And, uh, what's that? Tilt. Ooh, oh, wow, good, good wait for the spot damage. I don't know. I'm really meant to do that, but uh, Retrobot definitely closed it out for him. So here we have Retrobot at 120 basically, and um, Armored at zero, so definitely not unwinnable, but uh... Um, jab lock situation, uh, Oh, this is pretty good. Oh, side B. Side B. Yeah, I, I guess I'm going for that one. I like the... I would actually for the forward variation rather than the down one. Yeah. yeah. I think I think I might have killed too. But I, I'm not 100% certain. I oh, wow! I definitely would have a lot better position. Oh, not quite getting the kill. That was a really good recovery from Amrit. I, I was surprised he made that back. Oh, that, that, that could have been costly. Retrobot got really lucky there. One more Retro. Retro. Definitely play this guy. Retrobot. Yeah, what? Oh! Oh, wait, he's alive! Oh, that, I'll smash yeah. Oh, ow. Like I said, he's practiced that. He's gonna get this. He really did close up Retrobot even after the SD. Yeah. Back in that. Playing from 160 to 10. 